What's going on, everybody? We got Fernando, aka the Tiger King, here coming at us with his top eight deck profile. Uh, go ahead and see Fernando. What's going on, man? Hey, how you guys doing? How the uh, event, how the event go for you today? Oh man, it was awesome. Once again, I really want to shout out to TGS, best location ever. Yeah. Especially when they do all these monthly. Freaking awesome. And I hope it continues on and hopefully we have a lot more monthly coming up ahead. Awesome. Uh, so you played Glad Beast today. How did Glad Beast fare against the competition? Uh, actually, it wasn't too bad. Uh, my toughest matchup was definitely the Black Wings. Mm -hmm. and a lot of them today. Yes, they were. And um, I had two um, Amaryllis matchups. Mm. Um, those ones were a little bit tough. Um, the first Amaryllis player uh, was able to kind of just overpower them. But the second Amaryllis player, definitely a great duelist. <laughs> Great duelist, and we were able to uh, be in the in the stream and actually get that uh, that duel uh, on video. So that was awesome. For sure, that was awesome. Definitely want to give him a shout out. A great duelist. Right. Great duelist. All right, so let's get into the deck profile then. Yes, you can go ahead. All right, uh, for the first, uh, just one of the little hero package. We got the Stratos, the one of mm -hmm. uh, to search out the Prismas. So I'm just playing the two Prismas. Um, I also searched uh, the Stratos with um, reinforcements of the army, mm -hmm. and then uh, they're gonna get shuffled back into the um, into the deck. So you just you don't need the third one. Just two should be fine, and with that you should be have enough reoccurrence to keep bringing them out for to tag them in for a gladiator beast. Uh, then you have two Lacrarys. Uh, again, um, since he's gonna be tagging in and out, you really don't need the, the third. But he's a good body, so definitely you want to have a two of. Uh, two Equests. Uh, the Equest, uh, I was actually running one before, but I do notice that the Equest is a little bit better than Darius, just to the fact that you could bring the Gladiator Beast monsters to your hand and at least keep control of the duel just in case something happens to your monsters uh, on the field. Uh, we have the one Darius. Uh, there is great when you have uh, a Prisma and Test Tiger. With Prisma Test Tiger, you just send Bestiari and then te um, use Test Tiger's effect to bring Darius. Darius brings back Bestiari and get your Garius and go out from there. Uh, you have your three Test Tigers. That's why they come with the king because there's all the three Test Tigers there. Uh, hopefully, we'll get the Ultra soon. <laughs> we got one common and the two Ultras. First edition, so we'll get it. We'll uh, get awesome, it. awesome. We have the one secator. Uh, that is one card that I decided to put him in into the edition. Um, thanks again for James. James actually helped me uh, build this uh, deck. Uh, he told me to go against it, but uh, I went ahead and put him in just to test him out, and he actually was able to give me some some of the matches. I mean, it worked but, out uh, for you. you got it worked eight. out. It worked out. But it, uh, I want to say like half of the matches I was siding him out. Okay. But he's he's great when he gets going. Uh, freaking awesome. <laughs> um, one uh, gladiator bis Marmelo. Uh, great just to pop a face up monster. Uh, one gladiator beast Samnite. Uh, just another Gladiator Beast name, and just in case you're able to get his effect off and, and search a Gladiator Beast Chariot, uh, it's great. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to uh, get his effect off, but I was able to use him as a body and just put pressure on the opponent. So, that's uh, about it. Him. Uh, one Ririari. Uh, for the longest, I was actually running two. But uh, I did notice that uh, running two, uh, it, it is a small body. And again, like I said, with the Gladiator Beast, the whole thing is reoccurring. Mm -hmm. So one is, is not too bad. I'm not sure if I'll have them at two, but one seems to be perfect, working out perfectly. Nice. So that's just to banish the opponent's graveyard and just keep it under control. And then obviously the, the one. limited yeah. one of uh, Gladiator Beast, uh, Bestiari. All right, uh, that's for the monsters. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go for the spells. On the spells, uh, like I said, I do run the run Rhoda uh -huh. just to search out the straddles, the straddles into the prisma and, and uh, just get the conga go line going. <laughs> uh, I run two 
um, my body as a shield. So how is that card in the main deck today? Uh, actually, uh, he I was able to save me for a few matches. Uh, I had him actually in the, in the side deck, and I decided to put him in in the main deck, just because I do want to see my monsters being uh, on the field and hopefully stay on the field. Mm -hmm. And I know the life points is fifteen hundred. It's it's a little steep. But sometimes uh, you gotta pay a little bit of money to <laughs> to make sure you, you get your body on the field and just keep it there. So they were they were able to help out quite a bit. Um, I will probably side both of them out for maybe the Book of Moon and Sullen Judgment because mm -hmm. uh, I think those other two cards will, uh, can target more different deck priorities than than this. Yeah. This is more more niche more niche. So probably side those out. Um, do have two shrinks uh, great card I uh, was able to uh, get some opponents uh, and surprise them with the shrinks um, I know one of them had uh, the strap uh, st st uh, trap card the stunt uh, trap stunt trap stunt yeah so they weren't expecting the shrink and then other ones were uh, when opponents shepherd. were they thought that maybe they had only to deal with one back row and it tried decided to attack they were punished by it and i was able to tag out and just go out from there so it was definitely a, a plus two get rid of their monster and then tag out and yeah. use whatever resources i needed from the glads pretty useful on this definitely very useful uh i actually did run three gladiator proving grounds okay. uh actually i was just to run two but uh, i definitely see that three is definitely the, the best way to go it keeps your deck count uh, lower, mm -hmm. and just in case you need a Gladiator Beast monster of uh, like a certain name on your hand, most likely the Bestiari, mm -hmm. you could definitely get them. Or if you need to uh, work, play around the bottomless trap room, get Riviari or Marmelo, and just uh, if you have an, uh, a clearance to attack, mm -hmm. get those guys, clear bottomless, and just keep attacking with those. And definitely great, great card. So three offs definitely keep them. Uh, the one offs, the heavy, mm -hmm. uh, for obvious reasons, just get rid of the back row. The MST, um, just get rid of another back row. And then the brain control. The brain All control, different. yeah, definitely helps out. Just in case there is a monster that you're not able to deal with, just take control of it, and then you're able to get a, a clear uh, a push for for the guy you'll be to attack without having to worry about running into the body. So definitely a, a, a good card there. Then now for the traps, we do uh, do run uh, two bottomless. Uh, it's great, great card. No reason it's semi limited. <laughs> uh, two deep prisons. Um, actually, I'm becoming a, a pretty big fan of this. I, in all my decks, I never run deep prisons because uh, I was always afraid that they will, will uh, get rid of it before I get to use it. But uh, no, I noticed that uh, a lot of people were running into them, and uh, great card. I think I'm a big believer now in uh, two deep prisms. Yeah, um, got two gladiator beast chariots. Uh, great card. Yeah, three might be a little bit too cloggy, mm -hmm. but uh, two is just perfect. You're able to see just enough, and once you get re uh, reoccurring with the quest, that's basically your third copy. So two is definitely the, the uh, I think the sweet number for you to to be playing around on the glad beast. Um, two um, starlight roads, uh, great to protect your uh, your back row. Uh, definitely caught some people off guard when they try to heavy or torrential when uh, for your monsters or for like mirror force. Uh, great way to just make sure that you don't lose your resources that you're putting out there. Uh, definitely uh, was able to win me uh, at least two of the games uh, and get Starlight that's another body that they need to deal with and then an uh, Omni Gate on top of that definitely great um, we got three Wabakus okay, uh, Wabakus yeah, oh, see now that one I actually had one opponent that didn't actually need, know exactly what the Wabaku did because mm -hmm. of this wording it doesn't say destroy the monster it's just this, it says uh, it has the old text uh, any um, damage inflicted by an opponent's monster is uh, decreased to zero 
Yeah, it helps. Turn, yeah. It, it helps to not have them destroyed by battle, so you can actually trigger their effects in battle phase to tag out. Correct. So that's, so, that's a good type. Yeah, and one of the uh, opponents actually had to uh, see a different card and actually see the text where it says mm -hmm. the monster does not get destroyed because my monster was in defense. Mm -hmm. So he thought maybe it just didn't take any damage. I was like, yeah, it doesn't take any damage, but it also doesn't get destroyed. Mm -hmm. So I was able to just go ahead and just tag in and uh, once again, the glad bees do what they do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then the one ofs, the mirror force obviously defends uh, your monsters and able to punish them if they commit too much. Same thing with torrential. Um, torrential was actually, uh, if I feel there was a little bit too much pressure, I would purposely put one of the gladiator beast monsters in defense mode and discard face down. And then if they try to uh, commit a little bit more, uh, put another second monster in there for to to attack for damage, they'll get punished. And that Gladiator Bruce monster, it didn't matter which one it was on defense, you're gonna reoccur back with the quest or with the Gladiator of uh, Darius. So I did not mind losing the, the card for, for that meantime, just to make sure that they feel confident that they're able to uh, push a little bit more on the board and just go into Torrential. And obviously the trap does shoot. Uh, hand knowledge is by far so important in, in this game. <laughs> so that's that's all we have to say about trap does shoot. Does that hand knowledge? Sure, you're able to maybe hit a monster back into the deck, but the hand knowledge just gives you so much information to know what they're playing and what you need to play around with. All right. Uh, now to the extra deck. Extra deck. All right. All right, so we go with the uh, with the obvious ones. We three Gladiator Beast Gazarus. Um, I really didn't have to go into the third one at, at all. Uh, I did go into the second one today. One got, got bottomless, and the other one uh, just brought out, and I was able to tag in and tag out. But just the third one just makes you feel safe, just to make sure you have them. Um, so three on that. You have two Hercules, um, Her Le Herculinos. Uh, two is just fine. Uh, three is a little bit too cloggy, uh, but you have enough space uh, on your extra deck. So if you want to, you could put the third one in if you want. But two is just fine. Uh, he's not gonna get uh, affected by that much. Uh, they try to do anything with him, uh, bottomless or deep prism or torrential or whatever. You, you could just use this effect and just negate it. So he's. Just two is fine. He's able to survive all by himself. And that body, 3,000, it's really hard for some decks to get over. So uh, just with him and Gladiator Beast Chariot, you're pretty much set uh, spells, traps, and monster effects. Uh -huh. So just two is fine. Uh, have the one uh, tech, the Chimera Fortress Dragon uh, for uh, the machines. I didn't face any machines today. But I had them there just in case, right. so I could tag out. Um, then the one card that's really spicy. Uh, this card was actually gifted to me by by James, and um, really, really do appreciate him uh, looking out for me and making sure I have something for for a spicy deck for the zombies. Mm -hmm. This is the Doom Kaiser Dragon, so you could definitely make them if just in case they have Zombie Master and uh, Plague on the graveyard. Um, if they try to, um, you could bring control zombie master, uh, target their plague spirit from the graveyard, and then you're able to make him. So it never came up, but it, it is a tech that I had in there for the zombie matchup. So definitely nice to, to know I had something for, for that. All right. Uh, obviously the Brianic, uh, just bounce anything, definitely gets you, uh, if you're having trouble with something, just clear the board. <laughs> so it's great. Never gonna make them most of the time, but uh, just in case, it's always nice to have them. Same thing with the Goyo. He's uh, a big beater. If you're able to get him out, that's just another problem they need to deal with. Obviously, Black Rose Dragon. Uh, Black Rose Dragon just blows up the whole field. Again, you're probably not gonna make it, so, but it's nice to have. And then uh, just two Stardust Dragons. Those are the Starlight Roads. Yep. So I definitely run the two of them there. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, obviously awesome to make sure you can negate and just a good body. And then uh, three Flex Spots that, again, you don't make them, but uh, it's nice to have. Uh, the Blackwind Armor Master. 
just in case you could bring control with their uh, Gale. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, you know, with your level four monster, maybe you can make make him. But it's nice. Uh, Colossal, uh, definitely a big beater again. And Thunder Ruler Arc Fiend. And then to the side deck. Like that. All right, for the side deck, I do run the two Cyber Dragons again for the machine matchup. Um, never came up, but I did use them also for the Black Wings. Uh, 2100 is a pretty hard body for them to get over, unless they have Kalud or something. And, um, that's just another body for them to, to worry about. And also just baits out the bottom list, so your other uh, Gladiator Beast Master can just be Norm Summon and go for it. Um, have three Diddy Crows. Uh, the Diddy Crows actually were pretty good on uh, most of my matches. I was actually signing them in. Uh, I did play play against some Black Wings and Amaryllis, and just having Diddy Crows to interrupt their plays uh, very crucial. So I felt very safe having them in my hand. Uh, so I, they did go into a few of the games uh, when I sighted was sighting in. So definitely three DD Crows, awesome. Uh, two Imprisonment Mirrors for the Light Swords and Fairy matchups. I uh, didn't face any uh, lights, so unfortunately I didn't get to uh, play them, but definitely uh, have them in there just in case. Um, the two Master Restricts, obviously for the Frogs matchup. Um, you could put them in, uh, it's an extra precaution, but most of the time, the the frogs matchup are pretty easy for for the glad bees, uh, so you shouldn't have too much trouble. But just in case you have, uh, you feel like you need a little bit more protection or a little bit more of uh, odds on your favor, uh, I just have them. Um, this one I put it on the side, but I definitely think I should have put it in the main. Uh, there was a few times where some of the plays. Um, I was hoping I, I was seeing Solid Judgment instead of the, uh, My Body is a Shield. So I'm definitely going to say My Body is a Shield for Solid Judgment. Uh, it's a little bit more cost, uh, obviously, if you're at full health, mm -hmm. but it's definitely worth the, paying the price for it. Uh, I have the two Noblemen. Go Format Staple. Go Format Staple, one of my favorite cards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and definitely, um, if you're facing uh, against... Um, like zombies or one of the other matchups that they set a lot, like recruiters, definitely something you could uh, put in on your side and just be able to punish them for setting cards face down. And then on top of that, it just clears your field for your glad your beast to, to attack. <laughs> um, Book of Moon, uh, that's the other card I think I should have put in, in, in the main in, instead of the other uh, My Body is a Shield. But uh, the book, all in, all in all, it's great. It gives you a lot of options, offensive and defensive. And I definitely cited it in, in most of my matchups. And some of my matchups, I was able to see it, but most of the time I wasn't because I just won the one off. But it's definitely something uh, that I was always hoping that I would draw to make sure I can uh, run over a body. And then two... Twisters, uh, great against Royal Oppression and um, Skill Drain and Black Whirlwind. Definitely uh, great, great card to make sure that your board presence stays on there and make sure that you don't get shut down by Royal Oppression because Royal Oppression just kills the deck. <laughs> uh, All right, anything you want to say, Fernando? Uh, no, that, uh, that was basically it, but like I said, James definitely helped me out on making the deck and really want to appreciate him uh, going out of his way to make sure I, I have a wonderful deck and it was able to top with it. So definitely, definitely a shout out to him. And all the great dudes out here that were out here and took their time to make sure to make this event happen and make it, make it nice. All right, congrats yeah. again, Fernando. Thank you, thank you.